Welcome back. Human rights advocates at the Bahamas Crisis Center are repeating their call for the government to criminalize marital rape after Prime Minister Philip Davis suggested that divorce is a solution to sexual abuse within marriage. Well, last week the Prime Minister called divorce the easier option for women who have been raped by their spouse, promising that the government will provide a safety net for women who decide to leave those relationships. In a statement released Monday, Director of the Crisis Center, Dr. Sandra Dean Patterson, says divorce puts the focus on the victim's response and not the accountability of the perpetrator. Patterson says she is disappointed by the government's refusal to uphold its commitment to protect victims, calling the Prime Minister's suggestion impractical. Dr. Patterson contends the government must amend the legal definition of rape under Section 3 of the Sexual Offenses Act to fully align with the Prime Minister's assertion that all rape is rape. Well, the U.S. State Department 2023 country report frowned upon the treatment of LGBTQI plus youth in the Bahamas, alleging discrimination, especially in correctional facilities. Well, Social Services Minister Miles Lora shut down those claims. First of all, the Bahamas is a country of laws. So any suggestion that the Bahamas uh, discriminates, I totally reject that. If you're suggesting that parents are sending their kids to these correctional facilities because they are identify as LGBTQ, I cannot speak to that. What I can speak to is that children under the care of the Bahamas governor are not subjected to any form of discrimination. Bahamian LGBTQIA plus activist Alexis DeMarco revealed to a local daily that the Ministry of Social Services informed her that they have introduced a diversity program to prevent LGBTQIA teens from being deemed uncontrollable because of how they identify. LaRota could not confirm or deny the implementation of this program. The Department of Social Services recently reported an 87% increase in child abuse cases in 2023, with physical abuse reports increasing by 55%. In response to this, prevention of child abuse advocate and politician, Tanil Burroughs is bringing together a group of political independents to address that issue. Burroughs says inaction from sitting parliamentarians has inspired her to unite a group of Bahamians that will bring about positive change. This is not a political party. I will not be running again. I am inspiring a league of extraordinary candidates who will be referred to as hummingbirds united. So, so far, they're the only real group collection of independent candidates. As we know, the most recent party that's made traction is now an official, uh, what do you call it? Political party. Burroughs says the organization is currently looking for community leaders willing to join. We'll conduct whatever interviews with whomever we need to and carefully ensure that they're up to scratch. People with a track record of community involvement would be our first uh, first draft picks. People who have excelled in respective fields, environment, education, all the ministries that you know that we have in the Bahamas, youth, sports, culture. Those people and workers who have been hummingbirds all their life trying to see a change in our mighty little country, we're calling on you to come. Ms. Burroughs also announced that the League of Independence will be contesting the next general election. And finally, there's a new chief at RBC Royal Bank Bahamas. The financial institution has announced the appointment of Erica Roll as managing director of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands. Roll, who currently serves as country head in the Cayman Islands, will return to the Bahamas to assume her new position, effective May 1st. In addition to being managing director, she has been appointed to the role of vice president of personal banking. She replaces Lasagna Misik, who has moved on to a new role as regional vice president personal and private banking and RBC Finco. In addition, she serves as a Caribbean Banking Executive Management Committee member. Misik is the first Bahamian to be appointed to RBC Caribbean's executive leadership team. As managing director, Roll will serve as RBC's lead on all governance and regulatory matters. And we wish congratulations to both of those outstanding Bahamian women. And that's news tonight on JCN TV News. 
We wish you the best. Be safe and be well. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Thank you.